Welcome to On the Job with Lonnie Lou. We are here at Dover International Speedway for the NASCAR race weekend. Caitlin Bernasconi. Um, I'm the race engineer on the 6 Xfinity car for Roush Fenway. What college classes did you have to take to become an engineer? So I got just a regular uh, mechanical engineering degree, which is a lot of math and science, um, anything from chemistry to physics, um, and then as you get you know, further into uh, you know, your junior, senior year, uh, the classes get a little more, not intense, but detailed, um, very specific, and you know, this, it all depends on what you're studying. Um, you know, for racing, you can take actually a motorsports concentration uh, where most of your classes are all cars. Um, I actually did not do that. I kind of did a more broad engineering degree because um, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do after. So what do you do with your job? Like, what do you do in your job? What, what do you focus mainly on? So what I do, you know, there's a lot of engineers in NASCAR, um, anything from design, you know, there's a whole engineering department at, on our campus at work. So I'm a race engineer. So basically I just deal with the car setups. I work with the crew chief. Um, he's kind of the boss of the team and he makes a lot of the uh, decisions. So it starts from taking the car and the four springs and shocks that are in it and we put it on, you know, rigs and kind of move the wheels up and down to see what everything's doing. And then we take that information and we actually build the car in the simulation. And so we can run the car basically around the track in sim to see what it's doing, um, essentially. And we can make changes to the car that way. So what part of math is in your job? What part of math? There's a lot of basically just calculations of forces and moments. basically what makes up the race car and we have to try and optimize all that. So. so how do you calculate how much fuel you need for a car needs for a race? Right, so we actually we don't have a fuel gauge in the car like a regular um, production car would. So we do it all off of weight. Um, we use a spreadsheet here so we know, you know the initial fuel, um, the amount of gallons in the car and then you know factoring in you know your how big the track is, how many laps, um, you can kind of back out what you're calling your fuel mileage and then use your fuel mileage to understand how many laps you can go until you run out. So again, that's where the <laughs> math comes back in. Um, but we do, it's pretty advanced these days. We have a lot of spreadsheets to help us figure that stuff out. So we're not doing pen and paper anymore. What steps do you recommend to take to become a race engineer? Yep, so um, it goes back to schooling. You obviously have to get the engineering degree uh, NASCAR is a lot of networking, so I am from New Hampshire and I moved down to North Carolina because that's what I knew I wanted to do and you know being out of state it would be hard to do that. So through school uh, you meet a lot of contacts um, that's probably the biggest thing is to you know get in with a team. Really it's just like anything though if you work hard and you have a goal and that's you know really what you want to do uh, the hard work will pay off and um, you know, through meeting people and that, you know, it usually ends up, you know, working out in your favor. Uh, you can follow me on social media, um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all under uh, Caitlin Bernasconi. So, pretty simple. <laughs>